Yo, what's happening guys, it's a flow, and I'm here with Sly. So rumor has it, a part of the LeBron James re-signing his two-year contract that he recently did was that the Los Angeles Lakers would trade away our two first-round picks to try to go get this guy help. Sly, what do you think about this? Um, we'll see what happens. I think right now, if the offer was on the table, if there was a good offer, they would trade those two first-round picks. But they're not going to just trade away first-round picks just to trade away first-round picks to get someone that's average that's not going to put them over the hump, you know? If it was someone like Kyrie Irving and the Nets were willing to do it, I would have been done already, but it all depends on the suitor. I think right now what happened last time with the Westbrook thing, they kind of shot themselves in the foot and they kind of learned their lesson. Like, we're not going to be trading away first round picks for, you know, guys that are mediocre. So they're just, you know, dotting their I's, crossing their T's right now. And they're just making sure that I can make the same mistake as last time. If there is something out there that's hot, though, that you got to do, they're going to do it. They've done it all through time since the 80s, 90s, 2000s. If there's a guy out there they wanted, they would get rid of their first round picks. You know, Pau Gasol comes to mind. All, all these players, even Shaq, we traded everything for Shaq and we brought him in there. So it always happens, but you got to have that star. If you don't have a star, man, if you get a middle range player, you're not going to be getting rid of those picks. So that's just my thoughts on that situation, man. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the Lakers, they pretty much know that these first round picks aren't going to help us win a championship by the time the players who they would select at those spots are ready to help contribute. LeBron's pretty much going to be done. So they do know they need to trade these for a pretty much a star player or really, really good assets. But like you said, they're not going to make the same mistake they did last year where they're just trading for a name that no longer has, has it essentially. And that happens all the time in the NBA where you trade assets for a name that was good probably what five four years ago mm -hmm. but now they're a former they're like a shell of themselves gilbert arenas russell westbrook Allen iverson and we just got hit with that we had the most recent case all the big three when they got traded to the brooklyn nets so um sometimes you do got to hold on to younger players but not when your window is closing so i like what the lakers are doing obviously uh the front office and LeBron have a plan in place hopefully they could stick to it hopefully we get a little lucky land a guy like Kyrie Irving where we could get right back into the freaking championship contention yeah man just got to be patient wait for the right opportunity be aggressive but don't be stupid you know last year it looked like we were just stupid man just doing that just going all out just giving away players and everything draft picks for a guy that's washed up man it was it was fool's gold and it was a mistake and I think the not, the Lakers are just waiting for that perfect uh, perfect trade, not going to do anything stupid. And hopefully this time we get someone that's, you know, not washed up and not over the hill. So time will tell, man. All right. Well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think about the Lakers willing to get rid of first round picks. Who would you go after? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace.